By Lake Chad, members of the Fulani community, a group of nomadic herders found across West Africa and the Sahel, have clashed with farmers for as long as anyone here can remember. Cattle roam onto farms and eat crops, while farmers plough land that has traditionally been used by the Fulani for grazing. A non-profit called the Association for Indigenous Women and Peoples of Chad, or AFPAT for short, is trying to change that through a project that draws on the local knowledge of women to make maps. Through discussions led by AFPAT, farmers and herders agree on what land can be used by who. AFPAT's founder, Hindu Ibrahim, told VOA the maps allow herders to put all the traditional knowledge that they have because there is no science or technology in that communities. It can help to mitigate the conflict between them because when they map their resources, they know how they can put in clear strategy of sharing and accessing those resources, but conserving them for the long term. Ibrahim, who has won a range of international awards for her activism promoting the role of women in society and environmental issues, says that women played an essential role in the discussions that made these maps possible. So women have a very important and rich traditional knowledge. And most of the time we do not consider women to come and contribute into the decision making because we are all in a patriarchal decision making communities. Disputes between herders and farmers have been partially blamed for insecurity in West Africa and recruitment by extremist groups linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State. Activists like Ibrahim and Animatu Ardo Jibo from the Nigeria-based non-profit Full Bay Development and Cultural Organization say empowering women and involving them more in the Fulani community can reduce the risk of communities siding with extremists. Jibo, who uses the term Full Bay, another name for the Fulani people, says literacy is key to achieving this. Not only the literacy that we are doing, but also the skills acquisition to the full bay women so that they can uh, be able to help their families. And we also enlighten them to stop movement from one place to another, let them enroll their children into the Western education. Whatever the approach, activists believe Fulani women have an essential role to play in reducing insecurity. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Lake Chad, Chad.